let's start this first session by taking a look at the larger picture and see how Green Transport Corporation may play a key role in achieving the Nordic vision for 2030. A vision that our first speaker has worked on ever since she started her position as Secretary General of the Nordic Council of Ministers back in January 2023. Before taking on that position, Karin Elman was a respected member of the Danish parliament for many years. She's held several ministerial posts during her time in politics, and I think it's fair to say that she's worked to enhance Nordic cooperation throughout her entire career. It is time to find out how the Vision 2030 and green transport in the Nordic region are linked together by leaving the floor to Karin Elman. So please give her a warm welcome. Thank you so much. What a nice and warm welcome here in sunny Gothenburg. And then you all get to sit inside without any windows. But you know how it feels outside when it's finally sunny and spring is here. Well, it's also my privilege to be able to welcome you all to this Nordic Green Transport Forum. I think, honestly, it's something when it was scheduled in my calendar made me happy. I'm really happy to be here, and I'm happy knowing that you are all here. I hope you feel privileged too, that you're now allowed to be focused on very, very important topic here. Because this is what we've tried to do, to bring experts from different countries and sectors to exchange knowledge and to discuss transport issues. And the topic of transport, as you already said in the beginning, is indeed an important one. The green transition and the tra uh, of the transport sector is, of course, central to ambitious, the ambitions to combat climate change and to become independent of fossil fuels from unstable regions of the world. And at the same time, transportation is central to the strength of our economies and the integration of our Nordic countries and our whole region. As mentioned, our Nordic Prime Ministers, they have a vision for the Nordics, which is to become the most sustainable and integrated region in the world by 2030. It's 24 today, so 2030. I mean, this is ambitious, of course it is, but who could be against that? Of course, this is what we all have to work very, very focused on and tirelessly. Because all of the ministerial councils within the Nordic Council of Ministers focus our efforts towards that very specific mission. And together we are aiming to promote a green transformation of our societies and also work for carbon dioxide neutrality and a sustainable circular economy. So in order to achieve this Nordic vision, a green transition of the energy, energy sector is inevitable. And I'm sure it's not a surprise to you guys, but transport represents almost a quarter of Europe's greenhouse gas emissions and is the main cause of air pollution in the cities. So it is obvious that it needs to change. The good news, however, is that change is actually already happening. The green transformation of the transport sector will require phasing out of fossil fuels. Electric cars are a good example where the market has changed drastically in the recent years. And electric cars are finally uh, competing with traditional combustion engine cars in the market in many of our countries. And it's obvious in which way the trend is heading. The share of sustainable fuels will increase. We see electric ferries and larger vessels powered with sustainable fuels already. Electric aviation is also gaining ground and other fuel alternatives are also up and coming. So there are also other aspects to transport that we should keep in mind. Increased use of public transportation, cycling, car sharing. I mean, they're all altering the way we commute. Behavioral changes 
where people prefer less <coughs> polluting alternatives to transport are also gaining ground. Basically, considering how do we get from A to B with as limited negative effect on the environment as possible. We have many good discussions also in the Secretariat of the Nordic Council of Ministers. And this year, Sweden is holding the presidency of the Nordic Council of Ministers and with the Secretariat in Copenhagen. How do we commute to all the meetings in Sweden? Well, uh, we have been discussing and also looking into our footprint when we transport ourselves. Obvious, being an international organization, our transport is our biggest footprint. How do we bring it down? Of course, by discussing how we get from A to B. So, uh, no surprise, and I'm not standing here, oh, I took the train, but I did, because I could. And okay, there were delays, and I know some of my good colleagues also had troubles, but still, sitting on the train, I mean, that's a good way of getting my transportation from A to B. And unfortunately, I'm not gonna be joining you all through the day because I'm heading off to Stockholm in a couple of hours to be joining all the environmental ministers in the Nordic Council of Ministers for Environment on the train. So I know that good friends from Faroe Islands and, and from Iceland, you don't have that possibility. But I think it's fair to say that we all take this and should take this responsibility on our shoulders to look into alternative transportation and also hoping that, of course, we get a better aviation fuel. So, dear guests, I have this opportunity to also address the whole issue of transport in the context of the Nordic Corporation. And, of course, a sustainable region requires transformation of the transport sector. And having this integrated region means that people and goods should flow seamlessly across the Nordic borders, simultaneously reducing emissions as much as possible, by land, at sea, and in the air. It's quite a task. And the question is how the Nordic countries together can contribute to the great transition of the transport sector. So cooperation under the umbrella of the Nordic Council of Ministers is, of course, part of the solution. Allow me just to explain further, because as we start to delve into the issues of transport, a complex and challenging reality becomes evident. I mean, we realize that solving the transport issue requires efforts from many sectors in our societies. Of course, transport, energy, environment, climate, infrastructure, regional planning, digitalization, business, finance ministries, just to mention one. So my point here being is that with many complex challenges, there of course are no silver bullet, unfortunately not. There is a need for a cross-sectoral approach and collaboration. And we need clean and secure energy and transportation. We need businesses to provide innovative solutions and we need to reduce emissions and we need to think circular and sustainable. Given the state of technolo technological uh, development these days, I'm quite sure we will increasingly rely on digital solutions and consider the role of artificial intelligence in transport. We supplement each other almost perfectly in terms of many policy areas, including transport. And our cooperation also serves as a tool for promoting Nordic, Nordic positions of strength and to create solutions that are also workable on a global scale. So cooperation can really pave the way forward and it is already happening. All the exciting projects presented here today really demonstrates the wide range of Nordic activities which pushes development forward. I also have to say, of course, that transport as a subject is very high on the agenda in the Nordic Corporation. I had the pleasure of visiting the Faroe Islands in April to attend 
the Nordic Council meetings, you know, all the parliamentarians. And transport was one of the main agenda themes, of course. And there was a very lively debate on transport and on the green transition of the transport sector. And this is exactly what I'm emphasizing here, because transportation is a substantial part of our work in the various Nordic councils of ministers. No, we do not have a specific Nordic Council of Ministers of Transportation, but it is cross-sectoral, cross and of course, it's in the various Nordic Council of Ministers. And Nordic projects will be continued to be launched where the different ministerial councils can identify the Nordic value of those projects. So this event today showcases the important Nordic projects in the transport sector. Also what is on the horizon when we look forward and what we can achieve from working together. So thank you all of you for working hard and tirelessly on these important issues. I'm gonna listen now. That's why I was giving one mouth and two ears. I'm supposed to listen more than I talk, but I have a, you know, injured from being a politician for so many years. But anyway, I'm looking forward to what I can listen to, and I know that we will be, of course, collecting everything. And foremost, I wish you all a very fruitful day. Thank you for being here.